Today I'm going to show you how to create simple drop shadows in Design Space. And if you stick around until the end, I'll give you a bonus tip. Let's get started. Hey everybody, so today I'm going to show you how to create simple drop shadows in Design Space. And like I said, if you stick around to the end, I'll give you a bonus tip. Now the way I've seen this done before was by using the print feature. You type out your text, you export the word using the bleed function in the print window, then bring the design back into Design Space, clean it up, save it, insert it into your document, scale it, rotate it, size it to fit your text, etc, etc, etc. This took me almost five minutes to do in real time, but believe me, there's a much easier way. The way I'm going to show you took me about a minute and 15 seconds, and I don't think you can really tell any difference in the two final designs, but it'll save you tons of time. And just to make this fair, I'm going to use the same font that I've seen used, which is Strawberry Blossom. And if you want to download this font, I'll put a link in the description below, or you can search for it on Defont. If you want to follow along with this tutorial, you may want to go ahead and download and install Strawberry Blossom now. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to type out our text. We're just going to use the word hello, like in the example I just showed you. We'll go ahead and scale this up. I'm going to adjust the spacing. I'm just going to go ahead and ungroup this and just slide these over one at a time to get the spacing the way I want it. Then I'm going to select all of this and I'm going to weld that together. So now I want to come over here and make a duplicate and I'm going to go ahead and change the color of that top layer and I'm going to select both of those and turn off the cut feature. Now I'm going to select both of those and I'm going to come to a line and I'm going to center those just so they're lined up. Now I'm going to click the top one and just arrow over one, two, and then up one, two, and we're done. That's it. Let me move this over. I'll grab this one that we did earlier using the export feature. Blow that up. And you can compare both of those. The pink one I just did using two layers. The red one I did using the export feature. And I don't think you can really tell much difference. We could come over here and adjust this a little bit. Click on that black layer. Unlock the lock. And we could just stretch this just a little bit. So anyway, that's just a much faster, much easier way to create a drop shadow. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and show you the bonus tip. I'm just going to grab this one, move it over. Grab this one, I'm gonna make a duplicate copy of that whole thing. I'm just gonna move that over here for a minute. So if you're using this design to make a sign or to make a t-shirt, if you'll notice you have two layers that are overlapping. And when these overlap, if you're using sign vinyl or heat transfer vinyl, when you apply this top layer, you're gonna see like a little crease where that back layer stops underneath that one. And also on the t-shirt, if you do this double layer, it's going to make it feel a lot thicker in these areas. So what we can do is just select that top layer and we'll make a duplicate copy of that top layer. And I'm going to go ahead and change the color so we can tell the difference. Now I want to click this pink layer and I want to click this yellow layer. And I'm going to come up here to align and I'm going to align to the left. And then I'm going to align to the top. That way the yellow copy moves to fit the pink one so the pink one doesn't move because we want the pink one to stay in place. Now let's come over here to our layers palette and turn off that pink layer for a second. Now we just have the yellow and the black here. Select both of those layers and we're going to slice that. Now we'll delete the yellow, we'll delete that yellow, and we'll delete this black. So all we're left with is that shadow. So when we come over here and turn back on our pink layer, it lines up perfectly with our shadow. And that way, when you apply it to your sign or to your t-shirt, you only got one layer of vinyl instead of two. So that way you don't get a crease or you don't get a real thick feeling vinyl. So I guess that's about it for now. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comments section below. If you like this video, please share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel. Also, make sure you click the little bell icon and turn on notifications so you'll know when I upload new videos. And if you want to follow me on social media, all the links are in the description below. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you later.